Welcome to the FGS Horror Club, where I shine a spotlight for club members on the best in horror, and maybe your new favorite game you just don't know about yet. This week we're looking at a brand new game from Dread XP called My Friendly Neighborhood. Think FNAF meets Outlast, but you can shoot your enemies with today's sponsor, the letter A for ah! I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? In case you missed our stream yesterday where we got to play the game early, the neighborhood is coming to town. Uh, hello. What the hell I is going is on? Television <laughs> what what is this? is the reaction I expected. <laughs> My Friendly Neighborhood is a survival horror action adventure game where you're trying to stop the annoying broadcast of an old Sesame Street esque show before the characters from the show stop you dead in your tracks. With an assortment of strange weaponry, you can stun these silly assailants for just long enough to do what you need to do as you try to achieve your goal. This comedy horror twist on the increasingly popular look at the kids thing but it's scary now is a lot of fun and surprisingly refreshing. There's a variety of levels and environments and puzzles to solve and I know you won't regret visiting this neighborhood. It's available on PC only, but for my fellow Steam Deck users, that's no detriment. Oh no. Let's just leave that be. <laughs> I did not enjoy that. Oh, metal piece. Thank you. No, oh, you bastard. <laughs> This reminds me of maybe the dumbest light gun game I've ever played, 1998's Khan Evil. I played this in a dilapidated, rundown, quote unquote, arcade, where I was the only person there, and someone who I assumed at the time was the owner, but later realized was just wearing regular clothes and had no uniform or identifiers, stood staring at me the whole time, moving closer and closer to me the longer I was there until I was so intimidated I had to leave. Well. The other reason I left was because a section of the ceiling fell down next to me. In any case, this game was Midway's attempt at House of the Dead, and play something like that meets Twisted Metal. You have to fight through a demonic amusement park to do... something. I'm not sure, I never finished it. For a long time I didn't think this game was real, and that I'd made it up. Turns out it is. I started seeing that strange man from earlier for a while afterwards, even after leaving the country I'd seen him in. On the street, I'd be sure I saw him in the crowd, the pattern seeking part of my brain plastering his face onto any random passerby, making me stop and turn to look. I'd see him through windows, in dark corridors, I'd see him when I couldn't see him. Sure, he was right behind me, coming for me. My body struggled against fight or flight. I started to shake, my eyes tear up, because if I look behind me, when I see he isn't there, I have to accept that I need to do something about this. So I sit there, shaking in fear, ready to let him finally reach me. Eventually I stopped seeing him. He got replaced by any number of paranoid shapes, groups, cabals, and just other men. Not that he ever existed to begin with, because I made him up. But that doesn't mean I'm lying. You're part of the club now. If you want to see more horror spotlights like this one every Tuesday, then subscribe to the FGS channel. Oh, come on, man. What is the problem? Come on, man. Why do I have... To do that, <laughs> like he's literally twitching. No, he's literally he's twitching right there. He's just not even real. Can I, can I escape out of this? <gasps> oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Stupid.